uh, in this video we are going to go through the process of activating multi currents or, or how to use multi currents in QuickBooks. So you need to go on edit, then you go to preferences, and then you go to uh, multi currencies, and then you come here under Kanban preferences. Uh, your current home is Zim Dollar. What's happening here? Okay, so just a second. Let me cancel the. Uh, let us go to account and Kanban. Then manage currents. Then you go to currents list. Then scroll down. Uh, let me activate this current. Uh, so antique here where it's written is inactive. And then click on OK. Uh, let me double click on it again. I want to put the exchange rate. So here you need to put the date. If you don't put the date, automatically today's date will be put there. So let's say the exchange rate is 1.2 there. Uh, so it means. Mm, I click OK there and then here it's showing us our exchange rate. Uh, so now that our exchange rate has been set, we can go back to home and then let me try to do a sales invoice. So I click on create sales invoice and then I go to customer. So I want to add a new customer. Uh, so let's say my customer is White City, White City Lodge. Then I click enter. So the system will tell me that white seat lodge is not in the system and I also need to select the currents so I select ZWL uh, that's the current that I'm going to build a uh, white seat lodge then here I click uh, I can click on quick add or setup so I click on setup if I want to add more details about this customer if I don't want to add more details like the address of this customer I can just click on quick add so in this case I'm just going to click on quick add right and then i go on quantity there then i go on item so under item i'm going to build so i can search or i can click on this arrow i click dry cleaning and then uh maybe the charge is uh, 8000 rtgs or zwl and then here it's show already showing me the rate is 1.2 if i want to change the rate there maybe i want to put 1000 as my rate tab key uh, no, so here it's showing us one ZWL is equivalent to 1.2, uh, but that is not what we want. Uh, so let me say so I need to do some division and subtract in here. So I do one divided by 1000 here, so it's 0 0.001. So I come here, I put 0 0.001 tab key. So it's now showing me eight dollars here is now correct. So I needed to divide the so that's how we can just put our exchange rate so we can put our exchange rate on the go uh, if i want to receive payment i can click on receive payment but let's not receive payment uh, for now let me just click on save and close do you want to save it i click yes so that's it for billing our customers who are in another currency that is not our base currency in this case our base currency is usd and then the next round so the next round we are going to create our bank account for other currents which is a uh, zwl uh, so our bank account that is going to be for zwl our bank account that is going to be for zwl i'm going to go to account then chart of accounts uh, then i click on account here then new then here I select bank account, then I click on continue. Uh, so I want to add a bank account. So let's say the bank account is standard chartered bank account. So it's standard chartered bank. So that's the name of my bank. I click there, I paste here. Uh, I also select the currents, so it's going to be US dollar current, Zim dollar currents. Opening balance, I select the current that I'm opening with. It about 25, 
thousand and the rate of that one to USD is that then I click OK. Uh, here I need to select the date. OK. And save and close. So I have added my bank account called Standard Chartered Account and another one called CPZ. So I go back to home. So let's say I want to receive payment. Uh, I want to receive payment. So I click there to receive payment. And then I come here. I click on White Seek Logi. And then I can select the bank that I want to receive the money with. If I want to receive Standard Chartered, I use that. If I want to receive in CBZ, I can also receive in CBZ. But in this case, let us receive in the currents for the for the client customer. So it's owing us 8,000 uh, ZWD. So it's going to pay 2.5 today. And then uh, let me pay 5,500, right? Uh, then I click on save and close. So we have received our payment. So that's it for receiving payments in another other currencies. Uh, so that's it.